Hello, EWE fans. This is Dustin J. Markowitz coming to you, taped as always, from beautiful Laughlin, Nevada, with a very special interview edition of Behind Enemy Lines. Joining me today is one of the pristine superstars here in extreme wrestling entertainment. He's the current international champion, a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, this is Demetrius D Dog. Uh, thank you very much for being with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, basically, I guess I, you prefer D, right? I guess that would be easiest for me to say. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's why everybody else calls me on the Fed. <laughs> All right, D. Well, tell us. I mean, uh, so how did you get your start in e-fedding? Um, it's actually a funny story. Uh, I got my start back uh, – I was about 11 years old, actually. And, you know, I had a couple friends that were doing the old email versions of, uh, of the e-feds. And, you know, I started off as a joke, you know, just doing it. And then I picked it up, and I just became better at it, honestly. You know, I kept the same characters, d dog since the beginning. <laughs> wow. Well, and, and how old are you now? I'm 26. 26. Oh, you're, so you started the same, the same time I did. Yeah, I'm in this game long. <laughs> wow. It's amazing where 15 years goes all of a sudden, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so going 15 years now, you came to EWE. Uh, how, how did you get into EWE? What got you over here? Um, actually, I, I think his the other J, the one that was K Dog, we met in another Fed, and he liked my style, and he tried to bring me here about five years ago, actually. Oh wow! And okay. I just never caught the concept of a 3K RP. I couldn't do it at the time. I could blow, I could do like 5K was easy then. But now mm -hmm. with me getting older and not having much time, 3K fit me a lot better. Makes sense. Now, that's kind of an interesting point, and we, we haven't really touched base on this too much, even on the regular podcast. Uh, but get, from your perspective, now this is, uh, like me, you've been around, you've seen, so you were actually a, a first boomer, which I, I, for those who don't know what the booms were in e-fetting, you had the first boom when the Monday Night Wars were going on with Nitro and the NWO. You had your second boom when WCW got bought out by WWE, uh, the then WWF. Um, what What is your opinion on RP? I mean, I, I've always been of the – I was brought up in the thought process that if you can't convey an idea in 3,000 words, you really shouldn't try to do it. Um, what is your thought on that? 3,000 words, if you really think about it, you can put a great story together. You know, and I've been, I've been a fan of it for the past – two, three years. Even with Fed, another Fed, I'm not going to say no names to get anybody interested, but uh, <laughs> you know, other Feds, I have 4K. I only use three, and, I, and I've been winning, you know, and I've been great at it. So, And that's my idea. If you can't put a picture together in 3K, you might want to give, you might want to try something else. That's, that's actually an excellent point. I One thing that We've always talked about, and I mentioned uh, when I say we, I say John, uh, John North, and myself. Is that you know we generally feel that in a standard RP, you know between 2,000 and 3,000 words is really your ideal limit because you don't want to bore your reader either. You know I, I know that there's a lot of these feds, and I'm sure there's a lot of the new ones that are new to EWE that have come from these storyline feds that expect you to do 8,000 word RPs. You know, fact is, I mean, and at least for me, I find them boring after a while. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. You know, I've been I was in a Fed where six thousand was a regular show. You had to do about eight thousand for a pay per view. That that's it's too much. It's too much for somebody that has a life. Oh, it! <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there, man. <laughs> uh, so okay, so now you're in EWE. Um, I you had kind of a I don't want to say a rough start, but you had a lot of close losses when you first joined the Fed. Um, your name was definitely, you know, in the hat, but, you know, you had a lot of close encounters with a lot of the, the uh, established stars. I mean, what was your reaction to that? How were you feeling kind of coming up, you know, a little bit short in the beginning? You know what? When I first – when I came back this time, you know, I, I started off on a hot streak. I don't know if anybody remembers, but I started off with AQ, down with the Dan Taylor, beat Chris Fame. Me and Chris Fame have history. Mm. And it's funny – now that, you know, touch bases on that in a second, but, uh, and then I ran into you. I ran into you as Dustin Jobber. And we had, then it turned into me losing for about a month and a half. And I ran into, <laughs> I ran into some hard competition. 
I had a lot of no shows, and you know, I just kept on going. Mm-hmm. I RP'd every week, like I was RPing against somebody. But you know, like you say, man, you win some, you lose some. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you had mentioned uh, Chris Fame. Now, now that, that's actually name again. That, that's uh, I believe that was Alex. Um, yeah, Alex. Before it, <laughs> I hear some, I hear some hatred in the voice there. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was your history with Alex? Me and Alex, uh, the Fed now gone, so I'll mention this Fed. But uh, XWO was a Fed that I was the first world champion, um, and I held the title for about eight months or so. You know, I was a champion by myself, like I was a loner, like I am in in EWE. Well, mm-hmm. me and Alex, we. We bumped into each other, let's put it that way, and we've had a feud. It was always a feud between us. If he left or I left and we both came back, we picked right back up. It's that long hatred. It's like, how can I put this? Let's put it, it's always going to be that Ric Flair and that Hogan feud. You know, Mm. let's take it to the old school for the newer generation that, uh, what's the newer generation? I don't even know. (laughs) (laughs) John Cena and The Rock, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll say that. I still consider Rock kind of old school for me, you know. That was that second Boomers, as you said. Indeed, indeed. But, uh, yeah, so we always had hatred towards each other. Well, I mean, but now, of course, right now in EWE, you've been relatively hot. I mean, you won the international title. I believe you are now the longest reigning international champion. Actually, I did my homework. I'm the second longest, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully if I win at the pay-per-view, I get that. I'm only about 20 days short right now. Oh, wow. That's still an impressive run. I mean, any way you look at it. Yeah. So, um, I mean, now, of course, in EWE, we were just talking off the air before we started going a little bit. Now, you got some goals, I'm sure. I mean, what, what do you still want to accomplish here in EWE? Honestly, my, my main goal, is, is, as everyone is, is to be a Hall of Famer. You know, every Fed I have touched base and that actually put effort into, I have became one, and I want to continue that trend. Here at EWE, man, I, I, I enjoy it. I really do. It makes me feel like, you know, when you first started back back 15 years ago, when you first got into it, and, you know, it gave you that rush when you RP'd. Absolutely. This is what it does for me, you know? And my goals really... I don't care about titles. I like feuds. You know, I just want to show that I'm one of the better our peers. If not, I'm not going to be cocky and say the best, but I want to be that top tier. Mm. Right now, I'm my own – I say I'm my own worst critic. And right now, I say I'm probably the worst our peer. That's my view. But for me to do that, that makes me RP harder every week against somebody. Sure. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, so right now, like, I mean, who, who is it that you follow in EWE? Who is it that, you know, you, you like reading every week? You know, what, what pushes you? You know what? Reading the chaos, you know, you, Dutch, and Chrissy, I, I, you know, chaos, the Clarks, the, when Jay does uh, Johnny, I, I look mm-hmm. forward to those. I look forward to reading, you know, some of the Hall of Famers like Spider, you know, Triple D. You know, I enjoy reading those. And I'm kind of mad, and I'm going to be honest, I'm upset that Ken Cade is gone. I, I, that was one of the ones I look forward to every week. Next up. Yeah, well, I've, I, I, I've, I've said it once, and I'll say it again. I don't think I've said it on air yet. We want the Brain Back Kincaid campaign. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, I'm with it. I'm so with it. He, he beat my ass, what, three times? I'm still with mm-hmm. it. <laughs> uh, no, you know, John as Kincaid was really good. I mean, we know the story about why he did it now. Um, but, of course, I, I, I don't know. I'm with you. I, I thought Kincaid had a lot of potential. Um, but... At the same time, I also understand his reasonings. You know, when you lose the desire to want to be somebody, uh, it's hard to continue on. Yeah, it really so, is. So, you know, yeah. Um, so, okay, so we, we got your goal. You want to continue having a good time in EWE. You, you see yourself as trying to get to be on the top tier. Um, 
you have a new guy coming into EWE. What do you tell them? What advice do you give them to help them become a better RPer? You know, it the easiest thing to do is just read and react to RPs. I'm not a read and react person. So I'm going to go a different route with it. The easiest thing to start in EWE, obviously you got to do your history. Because if you're just going in there saying that this person sucks, da, 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 you can do that with anybody. But it, you know, it's really do your homework on the person and t- kind of kind of like do a read and react. I know I'm going both ways right now. People probably are like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> but uh, By the way, we are not TVPG. I just want to point that to everyone's attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cut <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sorry. (laughs) But uh, what we, what my advice really is like, you know, if you're going to face Dutch, do your homework. Know what titles he did. Know who he feuded with. Know who he hates. If you're fighting Dito, know what he, what he's done in EWE. You know, he might not be a lot, but Joe Smo and Joe B, you know, they could be the best people in the world. That's read and react. That's actually excellent advice. I, I think that really sums up a lot, and I think a lot of the younger generation doesn't do that. And granted, I know D and I are both 26 years old, and we're saying the younger generation here, but <laughs> you I know, it but, all. we seen it all, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, I, I definitely, I definitely agree with you. I think that uh, knowing your history as far as what your characters have done in the Federation and what, you know, the feuds and their, and their type, you know, anybody can walk in and say, Hey, I'm going to whoop your ass cause you suck. Well, you know what? That doesn't mean anything because you basically just said, well, I have no clue who you are. So I'm just going to automatically assume you're no good, you know? So all right, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. Tell me why I suck before you tell me I suck. Exactly. So, well, uh, that's pretty much all the questions I have for this episode. Um, you know, I we obviously I don't want to date this too much and talk about the upcoming matches and you know what's going on, but uh, you know we we've really uh, hit a good stride I think in EWE. I mean, and now that's one other thing. Uh, D as a as a staff member as well. Um, you know, what do you think of the Fed? What, do you like where the Fed's going? You know, I I mean we don't really. I think as a staff. And, you know, you can edit this out or you can leave it in there. I think we need to more work as a unit on feuds and we need to stay together as a whole. But as far as results go, everybody's going to complain. We just got to do our best. That's all we got to do. We can't let, we can't let, you know, as staff members, you can't let uh, members take run shot. Because then we're going to have a whole bunch of issues, and people are just going to not be interested, and we'll lose interest in the Fed. Sure. You know. Sure. Um, if you could do one thing to improve EWE, what would it be? Well, I guess the easy route would say results on time, but I'm not going to go that route. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to say. Uh, wait, wait. Fire Jay? What? No. <laughs> Jay, I did not say that. <laughs> you and me have had many a talk. I'm not with the firing. <laughs> um, I think we just should, as a staff, we should just work more together, honestly, and like assign, ha- have people sign up for match rating and not be so strict about it. You know what I'm saying? That's, sure. Because I'll be honest, I I had a couple of my matches bit that because I didn't do it the format. My bad. I didn't know there was a format. <laughs> Uh, you know, and I can kind of understand that, too. I, I agree. You know, I've been involved in as many feds as I have, and I'm sure you have over the last, you know, decade and a half. I mean, unfortunately, you can't make everyone happy. I don't care who you are. No, nah, it's impossible. You know. Um, but anyway, uh, like I said, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, you know, this has been uh, D on the uh, Behind Enemy Lines interview podcast. D, do you have any last words for our audience at home? Um, you know, if if you haven't read one of my RPs, please read them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> either D Dog or Natalia, which I, I'm, and I'll be honest with you, I think I might be dropping Natalia. I, really? Yes. I, I this is probably the best time for me to say it. After Q O R, I think that's it for him. That's it for her. you know. I, I just I can't do it no more. I tried. <laughs> Well, let me let me ask you this now. Okay, now before we we finish the show, then assume you win QR. What then? 
I, I don't think I do. I don't think I I even worry about the title shot. I think I hold on to it <laughs> until I really <laughs> need to, until I feel nice. like I should come back. <laughs> so just, again, I I hate to extend this a little bit further, but now I'm just kind of curious. So are you just burned out on playing as Natalia? Because personally, I, I thought your Nightheart was very good. Uh, definitely gave me some uh, cannon fodder to shoot at with Dutch. So Yeah, yeah. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, I really want to focus with D Dog, and I want to, like I said, I want to be a Hall of Famer with D Dog. That's always my first goal. He's always going to be first. The tie, I really, I really didn't didn't want to pick her up until Shad, and um, I think it was Jay talked me into it. They actually talked me into being a member of Queen of Wrestling. They 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 named Beth. They named Natalia. They named a few others. And I just, Natalia, I was like, uh, I'll think about it. And then, like, two days later, I signed up, and they were like, we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I will say I am sorry to hear that because I do enjoy the character. But, again, it is what it is, and you got to do what you got to do. Uh, Dee, thank you very much for being with us today. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Always. Hey, yeah. I'm willing to come back whenever you need me. Hey, we definitely will keep that in mind. Uh, once again, this has been Dustin J. Marquez for the Behind Enemy Lines podcast interview edition. Uh, please, as always, feel free to comment below uh, in the uh, – uh, what the hell do we have? An RP board, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, feel free to leave your comments. I would love to hear any questions, suggestions, comments, ideas that you have about the show, what you like, what you don't like. If you don't like the show, I'm going to tell you to go screw off because I'm doing this on my own time. But uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun. And like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Once again, this has been Dustin J. Marquez. Good fight. Good night. For D and everyone else, have a good one.